Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. It has been absolutely ages since I've picked the camera up to vlog. I think the last time was when we, went, when we were in Butlins, which was I think the end of April. So we're now in July. So it's been absolutely ages, but I thought I might try and do a weekly vlog this week. So just do a few little clips each day. See how I do. We've got nothing planned today other than jobs at home. Um, but I'm just about to make lunch. So I thought I'd show you what we're eating. We have started to wean the baby, so I've got a plate for him. So there's a lot going on here. So this is Tommy's lunch. He's got crackers and cheese, some potato salad, some sweet corn and peas, pineapple, grapes, strawberry, and a couple of biscuits. He'll possibly want something else. He's always wanting to eat. Every time we mention food, he wants a snack. Um, this is Keith. I'm just gonna make the same with myself. He's got a wrap with cheese, and I'm going to put some of this salad in. This is from yesterday's dinner. So I'm going to put some of that salad in and some potato salad. And I might put some of this salad in on the side. So it's the same kind of salad but has a lot of fruit in it as well. And then for Fraser, I've put some peas and corn on. He probably won't be able to pick those up yet but they're there. He has got a couple of pieces of fruit but I'm trying to give him less fruit. Um, although it is tempting because I know he likes it. Just open this. And in here we've got, um, just pop it there, sweet potato, broccoli and carrots. And these have all been steamed um, a day or two ago. And I just put them in the tub ready for him to have for lunch. So he's going to have that. And I think one of these pieces of cheese. He absolutely loves cheese. So I'm going to give him one of those. And that's our lunch for today. So we are actually all at home today. I've got the two boys with me and Keith is at home. If you remember when we went up to Newcastle, if you watched that vlog, we went to go and visit my grandma. Keith was actually off work at the time. He actually hasn't been back to work since then. He was on what's called gardening leave for, I don't know how long, two or three months. So it basically was being paid, but they didn't need him in work. And then eventually he's been made redundant. Unfortunately, it has come to redundancy. So that's kind of happened uh, just under a month ago so he's looking for work which isn't great and part of me doesn't want to vlog it because it's not something to be proud of to not be at work but you know I'm all for being self-sufficient looking after ourselves and not relying on the government I don't want to do that at all but at the same time it's a reality for so many people at the moment um I was made redundant but I, my job was coming to an end anyway because I was going on maternity leave and I wasn't going back but I took redundancy which was just like an added bonus but if I wasn't going on maternity leave there was a high chance I would have been made redundant and there was quite a few people that I worked with who were also made redundant. My brother was made redundant last year, he's now got a new job doing something else but he retrained which, which was good but he was made redundant. Um, I know a couple of other people, two or three other people that have been made redundant in the past year. This is a reality for so many people at the moment and it doesn't matter whether you're kind of on the bottom scale of the ladder when it comes to jobs or the top scale. It, there's just so many people that's been affected by redundancy so for that reason I feel like it's something that I want to blog about. It is a reality, it's a reality of wearing at the moment. Um, we're making the best of it as much as possible. Um, we are seeking help from the government because we couldn't survive, we couldn't pay the mortgage otherwise. Um, trying to save where we can, all the laundry's on the line today, I'm not using the tumble dryer. Um, trying to, obviously you can see, we're making all our own lunches, we're not going out and eating. And when we do go out, we try and take sandwiches with us. So I'm trying to cut back as much as possible but it's difficult when you've got children because there's certain things that they need. You know, we need to feed them. We need to give, buy them nappies and clothes. Those boys are constantly growing. And although Fraser can wear Tommy's old clothes, Tommy doesn't have anyone older than him passing clothes on to him. So he does need stuff. And like, I need clothes. I'm a different shape and size now than I was before I had Fraser and I'm literally rotating about three or four outfits, which I can do to a certain point. Um, and we're now into summer and that, you know, my amount of clothes I could wear reduced because we're in a different season now. Anyway, it is what it is and we're trying to make the most of it, but that's kind of one of the reasons why I haven't been picking up the camera. It has been so disorganized. Um, 
it should be a lot easier to keep on top of this kind of stuff when I've got an extra hand at home but he has been busy um he's obviously looking for work but we've done quite a bit of work in the house if you can see behind me in there that's the pantry I'm not going to show you because it is actually finished out now um it's not fully finished I want to do a bit of organizing in there um I need to get some kind of tubs for organizing baskets for organizing the shelves but obviously one is tight at the moment so I don't want to just go out and just buy whatever I need or want and because we're doing work elsewhere in the house there's some like books in there that don't need to be there and a few other things that won't be there long term so I can't organize it fully but once that's done I will do a little kind of pantry room tour but I might tag it onto a kitchen tour because we have done a bit of work in here as well um, so we'll see when that gets done but I will do that but I'm really pleased it's so good um, I have so much space to store stuff we haven't done a big shop yet to stock up but I have space now for food which, which is great and really excited to kind of get that properly organized but I will do a room tour of that when it's done anyway we're gonna go and eat lunch now we're having to do a post lunch cleanup in the sink. Fraser, seriously. Which has happened how many times now? Three or four times now? He just gets it everywhere. We do have a big bib for him, but it's on the washing line. Is he scratched? Oh, careful. Oh, what's that? Oh, from the clip. Oh dear. Hey, Fraser. Yeah, we have a big Chill. bib for him, but it's on the washing line. We need to get another one because every time he eats, it gets filthy. You have a little bath there, hey? Trying to keep his dignity. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm actually having to physically hold him down. I know. He's trying to stand up all the time, isn't he? Can't stand up. Push back. All sorts. Hey, Fraser. Hello. Ah. Lovely, thank you, Fraser. Ah. Ah. What you doing? What you doing? You gonna go sleep? Are you gonna go sleep? You don't look sleepy. Ah. I'm just trying to get him asleep. He's in his push chair. Um, oh no, too dark. Because the bright sun is behind me. Um, I don't normally put him in his push chair, but it's been working really well. So we've been just been doing it because it's so much easier. I used to do it with Tommy as well. Um, you got to do what you got to do, don't you? So he's not looking sleepy, but I think he might be tired. He didn't have much of a sleep this morning. Um, it's Tuesday, and we take Tommy to nursery on a Tuesday morning. And so he has a little nap in the car, but depending on if he's fallen asleep on the way there or not, depends whether he's had enough of a nap, of a nap and didn't this morning. So he's not had much of a sleep this morning. Are you going to go sleep now? So I'm on my own. This is the first time in... I have had some time on my own on a Tuesday, but it's the first time in ages, it feels like. Um, Tuesdays are my day to catch up on everything. Obviously, I'm with Fraser and I spend time with him. But when he sleeps and he's happy doing other things, and um, he quite happily plays on the floor. I obviously, don't leave him down there on his own all day. But I get on with things like get on with my blog, editing videos, and I've not had that for weeks. And that's one of the reasons I'm not keeping on top of things. It's because my Tuesdays have been taken up with a lot of other things. Keith's been around. I've been dropping him at different meetings and this, that and the other. And this afternoon I actually have to drop him at a, a course that he's going to, come back home, go and get Tommy, pick him up. So again, Tuesday's completely out the window, but I have just edited a video, which is great. That's going to go, that should have already gone live actually. Um, and I'll try and get a few more bits done today. So I feel like I've actually had time to do some of the things that I want to do. Um, I don't have to do half of it, I don't have to make these videos, I don't have to keep a blog, but I want to and I've worked hard, or I do kind of try to work quite hard at keeping it up, so it's important to me um, and if it's important to me, it's important, isn't it? 
and um, we, we as mums still need things in our lives don't we so I'm gonna try to get Fraser asleep now and try and get a few more bits done before Keith comes and I need to drop him at his course so it's just another day where I'm kind of driving around everywhere but needs must um, just trying to get on with it best we can at the moment but that's probably one of the reasons I'm not keeping on top of things is I, I don't have my Tuesdays at the moment I haven't had that for a long long time um, I was able to get so much done while Fraser slept he's just smiling at me down there are you just smiling at me are you smiling at me cheeky monkey you meant to be going to sleep he's having a good giggle at um, how Fraser has fallen asleep <laughs> yeah that's what he thinks of life today well, that's what he thinks of his dad. <laughs> to sleep in there. Yeah. Is that yeah. nice? We're just giving yeah. Fraser a little afternoon snack. He missed lunch because he was asleep. So he's having yeah. a snack now. Is that nice? Yeah. Half of it is on the floor. Actually, it's not that much on the floor, but I've not given him all that much this time. Is that nice? <laughs> You've got tomato and you've got some watermelon there, haven't you? What's the matter? Hey? What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? Mmm, nice. So we worked out that Keith could actually go and go to his course and pick up Tommy on the way home, so I have not had to go out, which is really nice. I've been able to get a little bit of work done. I've got my laptop just there. Fraser's over there in his high chair having a little snack. <laughs> is that funny? He's laughing at me. What are you laughing at? So I'm just, yeah, getting a bit of jobs done. And then what time are we on now? Quarter to three. So I've still got a little bit of time before they're home, which is nice. Um, Keith went to a meeting this morning with the job centre and I know he wasn't really looking forward to it but he was getting quite stressed yesterday of everything that is expected of him. I think they've upped the game, the government, in what they are asking because I have been on job seekers in the past and we were asked to do about 15 hours of job search in a week, I think it was around that, which I always did. And when I went, they'd always be surprised at how much I managed to do. But I'm like, I just did what you asked me to do. Obviously, other people weren't doing that. But they were, they were asking him to do 35 hours of job searching. And he can't include things like the stuff he's been doing in the house. So we've done the floor in the kitchen and the dining end where Fraser is. We've, well, we say we, Keith has sanded and varnished that we've done the pantry and he can't class any of that so he can't even say that he's getting experience um learning how to do a skill they've said no to that he said they said they can do what you can do it and that's great but it can't be included in the 35 hours which i get that there needs to be some kind of guidance on how much someone needs to do in order to get the money to support them i get that i totally 100 percent agree with that it just seems 35 hours is quite steep that's a full-time job and i doubt they'll be giving him a full-time wage and um, not that it's a wage but it's it, that's like a full-time job obviously minus the travel time um so he's been getting quite stressed i've been asking him to change his cv and they sent him a long list of things he needs to change and it is just quite hard if anyone's been in a situation looking for work, it's not an easy situation. Um, everyone finds it difficult. Keith particularly finds it difficult. He hates change. He hates having to put information on paper of what he can do. He'd much rather speak to someone, but that's just not the way it's done these days. You know, you can't just knock on someone's door, like a business door, and say, have you got any work? Have a little chat and get a job. It's just not how it's done now. Um, he, that's how... Keith is better suited to that situation, but it's not the way it is. So he's having to get his head around changing his CV and trying to get himself put out there to get his name out there that he's looking for work. And so it was just stressing him out, but he's been to his meeting this morning and they've said to him just to kind of not worry quite as much about it. Um, we are, he is waiting on the results of his appeal because he has appealed his redundancy. And so he's just waiting for that still to come through um which should come through this week but they've 
they've delayed everything so I'm not sure when that will come through but they've said just just to not stress as much about it so hopefully that's kind of eased him a little bit because you can't get anything done if you're stressing if you're worrying about what's going on you can't get half as much done so hopefully that will help a little bit I just had to show you guys look how clever this little boy is hey you're very clever aren't you sitting up he's been sitting for a few weeks now but he's getting very strong this week before he could do it but we'd have to kind of support him and now you're doing so well aren't you aren't you oh you got a little bubble in your nose you got a little bubble in your... <laughs> where'd you go oh no you're gonna cry are you thinking about crying are you thinking about crying do you want to sit back up oh, come on then can you get up up you come you come. Oh, <laughs> oh you're going to go again because you're sat on your toy. Where are you going? Oh. Oh, no. It won't be long before it's crawling as well. Will it? You are trying to crawl, aren't you? Really? Oh, really? What are you telling us? What are you telling us? <laughs> Shall I, I move those toys out of your way? Oh, there you go. Is that better? Is that better? <laughs> what are you doing? Careful. What are you doing? Are you trying to stand up as well? Are you trying to stand up as well? Getting a bit tired again. Hey? So we just had lunch and I told Tommy he could go on out into the garden and play in the water when we had lunch. Fraser woke up as we were finishing lunch, so I need to it's okay, baby boy. Okay. I need to feed him. And what should have taken a few minutes to get Fraser out put Fraser in his high chair and get Tommy in his swim stuff. It's taken about 30 minutes to an hour. Had to get Fraser up, change him his nappy, then get Tommy in his swim stuff, which meant, and I also wanted to re-lotion him because it's really hot today. Fraser then pooed, so I needed to get him changed. But in the meantime, I put Tommy on the potty and told him he had to go on the potty before he went back outside. I came back in the room to find him stood up at the potty, weeing. He's obviously seen his dad doing that and thought he would do it too, which meant we all down his legs and around the potty and on the floor. So I had to clean that up. I had to change Fraser. I managed to get poo on his t-shirt, so that's had to come off. What else has happened? Oh, I've sorted Tommy with the swim stuff. I had to put more lotion on him. Now I'm ready to go outside. And I haven't even... Like, I'm not going out, I'm only going in the garden. If I had to go out, out, then there'd be a change bag to sort as well. So, <laughs> it's just life with kids. So we're going to go out now, I'm going to give... Fraser's going to go out in the garden and have his lunch. And Tommy's going to have some water in his turf tray. Keith's doing some gardening. And... Yeah, that's about it, really, this afternoon. Um, I've, we've got a barbecue on Saturday. And every time I plan something, I always want the garden to be further along than it is. And it's... Not again, but never mind. It's good enough. Um, I think he's going to work on one of the beds just to make it look a bit nicer. 
it just take, all takes so long. And although Keith has been off work, we have done work in the house. So he's been prioritising that and of course he's looking for work as well. And when you've got kids, even though like I try to look after the kids as much as possible by myself, so easy just to rely on the other person as well. So he gets disturbed doing things. And there was a few times when he would be starting something noisy like drilling or whatever it was and I'd say how long are you going to be doing that for because Fraser's just gone to sleep so it's everything takes three or four times longer to do right then baby boy do you want some food he's now in his nappy because it got poo on his t-shirt and I just thought it would be easier if I'm going to feed him rather than having to change more clothes that's going to get dirty do you want some food let's go out in the garden <laughs> Keith's working on the bed over there. He's um, lowered it down and now he's just put it, it's going to be like stepped up. So let me just see if I can show you just there. It's going to be that level, and the next one up is going to be one level up, and then just there, it's going to be another level up. And then we're going to plan that up so it looks a bit pretty. Because at the moment, it's all looking a bit dull in here. And the problem is these sleepers are mega mega heavy and he's doing it all by himself so yeah that looks good that's what it's looking like now so it just needs rotivating but he's going to build up the wall at the back with the spare sleepers that we've got so that, because it's obviously higher up behind. And then these flowers just here, they're going to go, some of those are going to go into the bed and I'll have to get some more. What are you doing? Tommy, what are you doing? Oh, right. Messy monster. Stop. Where are your shoes? Can you put your shoes on? Can you put your shoes on? Okay. Be careful that high chair, it's just drain off. Don't touch the high chair. That's it. Put your shoes on. Are you going in the water? In you get. You okay? <laughs> Is that good? good. Oh. I'm just sat here editing videos and the one that, that I want to go up live next um, it's a bit long for one video so I've decided to split it into two so rather than just ending the first half of that video without any explanation or any goodbye I thought I'd just pop on now and just say thank you for watching I'm going to put both videos up this week so you don't have to wait a whole week for the next one um, it's Tuesday today I'll try and get up the first one tonight and then I'll probably do the second one on Thursday so you get to see both of them this week Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.